Home field advantage, you want to use that in this game. Toronto will try and do so here. Will he be able to limit the production of Jose Bautista? Always watching for the long ball when this man's at the plate. Glad to have you join us. Tuesday night edition of Major League Baseball and 2K Sports. Brett Cecil, he is the starting pitcher. Steve, he gets going here against Kansas City. What do you think we're going to see from him? Well, Brett Cecil has a very clean delivery. The ball jumps out of his hand and gets on the hitters. He gets a lot of ground ball outs as well. The secondary stuff is still improving. Now we'll see Ned Yost's offense. Uh, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, Billy Butler has a little bit of power. Not a big power guy, but he's mostly a line drive hitter, especially in the gap. That's what makes him so difficult to pitch to because he can go gap to gap. He loves driving in the big runs. He can make a difference offensively with his ability to drive in runs. And Hosmer is in the box. It's the Kansas City Royals. They come off a win. Now game two of four, a chance to prevent losing the series if they can get the win here against the Jays. Well, and this is a team that's playing great baseball right now. He bunts the ball. A train. In time for the up. Gotta like the creativity, trying to get on any way that you can, but Escobar at the plate. Well, to be effective, you've got to mix your pitch types and speed. Here's what we've seen from this pitcher today. What's your take, guys? Well, when you're playing behind a guy, you love to see him mix up his. And he tries to get one down. A train. In time for the up. Sometimes you have to bunt the tough pitches, but when you get an easy one. And A train's in the box. A lot of buzz about this kid. We were talking about it earlier. His first major league appearance. He's our first batter. Home half of the third inning. Good pitch from Crow. That is swung on and missed. Recently called up from the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. He gets a chance to get a look-see. And I guarantee you, he's the happiest player on this ball club for Toronto. This young man has to be feeling... Smash towards the middle. And that's through a base hit. And that brings up Yanel Escobar. Well, didn't take long to get it going. He hit in his first ever major league at bat. Nice start. He's been providing some sting in that bat with 12 hits in his last 35. A really nice stretch right there. Good solid at bats over the last 10 games or so. Nice production on his part, putting a good string of quality baseball together. This one to Gordon. One down. At the plate for the Toronto Blue Jays. Center fielder. One down. Here's Colby Rasmus. Colby. Mixing your pitch types. Key to performance like the one we're seeing today on the mound. Here's a look at what he's been doing. I love what I've seen from him today. He's established his fastball. And that swung on, hit on the ground. It's gobbled up. Over to second for one. Not in time to Hosmer. They're going to get only one. And he throws it away. On the runner, takes off. So they can't make the play. And they trains in the box. Notched his first major league hit earlier. And uh, those jitters ought to take care of him. Runners at first stand third with two away. And this is bounced foul to the left side. Crow gets set and delivers. Good hard slider that time. He's in control in the count now. 0-2. Well, a great pitch and a great strike right there to get that pitch down and away. Look, if you can throw it out there consistently, you keep doing it, you're going to have a lot of success. Oh, and he dropped it. Yeah. What's he doing to start these hitters out? Let's take a look at how he's beginning. Well, this is what he wanted to do right here. He's retired 10 batters in this game, and he's done it when he's gone 0-1 in the count. I mean, it's efficient, and it's productive. Now, that's one away. This one goes right up to shoot. Sometimes, a time to shine right here. A chance to be a hero, Garrett. Bounced into a fielder's choice as last time. One for two in the ballgame. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. Well, when in doubt, when you're undecided, swing hard, and that's what he did. But he got the slider and he swung through it, but a big, powerful swing. Strike Not letting up on that swing, but he missed it. 0 and 2 now. Well, they're a strike away right now from getting out of this jam and holding on to the lead. Oh. Trying to get him to chase the slider, but it's 1 and 2. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. 
Smacked that one. He got it right up the middle. And he's out at first. What an out. This was an outstanding performance today. I mean, that's good starting pitching right there. He won't be able to finish what he started, but he pitched a heck of a ball game. And he lays one down here. A train. And his throw is in time. First out of the inning. Well, he's clearly but And A train's in the box. He's going to lead off the home half of the ninth inning. He bounced out his last time. Hit in the air to center field. Escobar to field it. One away. They went out here in the ninth inning. They still need two, so they need to get people on and advance base runners. Do what they have to do to get runners in scoring position and hope they run into that clutch base hit there. Escobar in the box. Not looking last time. field advantage you want to use that in this game Toronto will try and do so here will he be able to limit the production of Jose Bautista always watching for the long ball when this man's at the plate and we wish you a very happy 4th of July we get set for Major League Baseball on 2K Sports starting pitcher it's going to be Ricky Romero if he gets going here against Kansas City what do you think we're going to see from him well, for such a young pitcher, Ricky Romero knows what he needs to do to be successful, and that's use a sequence of pitches, changing speeds, keeping hitters off balance, and changing his approach each time he goes through the lineup. Now we'll see Ned Yost's offense. John, who do we keep an eye on? Well, sometimes it takes a top prospect, a high draft pick, to get acclimated to the pro game. And Alex scored to me, it took a little longer than what they thought. I think the change of position going from third base to left field let him more concentrate on his hitting than his defense. I think it made him relax. And that's why he's one of the better young hitters in the game. Marino in the batter's box. A win for the Royals last night. They've guaranteed they won't be losing this series. Four game set. They go in 2-0. Oh. There's a ground ball. A train. And his throw is in time, first out of the inning. That's a terrific play right there, Gary. He gets up. And A trains in the box. Man, and you're having a day like this guy is on the mound. Takes a lot of things to be going right for you. Here's a look at his strategy on mixing up his pitch types. Well, he's done exactly that. He's changed speeds, he's mixed up all his pitches, and the great thing is he's throwing them all for strikes. It's unpredictability. The hitters can't think along with him. They don't know what he's going to throw next, keeping them off balance. Sanchez gets set and delivers down the left field line into the corner likely extra bases and he pulls into second base that will be a double you talk about a happy guy right there so is his manager getting there to second base two outs to work with now for his offense let's see if his teammates can bring him in. It's Rasmus at the plate. He's been dropping off big time. Just 11 for his last 50. He's got to be more selective at the plate. Too many strikeouts right now. Got to look to go back up the middle. And Jonathan Sanchez quickly ahead 0-2. Well, the hitter struggles with curveballs when he's behind in the count. I suspect they're going to go to the hook. Fouled away. Here's the pitch. 
You can't connect on that one. Colby Rasmus comes up empty on that swing. Uh, the pitch is too close to take, but you've got to try to make contact with it. Swings right through it. Strike three. Davis into the batter's box. Base hit is last time. The first pitch. Davis making contact, but he'll foul that one away. No balls, one strike. Sanchez flied to right. And that's going to do it in this half inning. Mixing your pitch types. Key to performance like the one we're seeing today on the mound. Here's a look at what he's been doing. Well, he's worked so hard at keeping hitters off balance. And the way you do that, you don't get stuck in the same repertoire. Hit on the ground. A train. That's the second out. Nice heads up play by the catcher. He pounces on that ball up. Giovatella is at the plate. Grounded out last time. He'll get things started. Fifth inning. Here's a swing and a ground ball. A train. In time for the out. A nice job by the catcher to come out to make the play and then shift his feet. And A train's in the box. He doubled in his last appearance. He's one for one so far. And the first pitch. And it's fouled off. Sanchez gets set and delivers. Swing, hot shot. Oh, my. How did he get out of the way of that? Those are scary. Well, even though there's two outs, you never want to think you're out of an inning. And this guy came up there and hit this ball hard somewhere. He gets on base with that solid hit. And who knows what can happen after that. Struck out swinging his last time up. And the first pitch. Fastball, too low. What a note. Steve, how about the arm today? How's he performing? Well, you got to pitch to your strength, and he's a fly ball pitcher getting fly ball outs right here, Gary, and it's working for him today. It's now one ball, one strike. He watched that fastball that was in there. There's a swing, line drive, center field, and that'll put Rasmus on first. He's going to try for third. Well, speed is a two-way tool. We talked about how it helps on defense. Now you see how it helps on the base pass as he barrels around going into third base. Davis into the batter's butt. One for two in the ball game, And starts him out here. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. This one to Francoeur. And that's the third out. That'll do it. Grounded out his last time up. And he gets under that one. Oh. Thought he could make a play there, but it didn't happen. So the direction here, Steve, for this lineup to stay in charge. Right now they are. Here's the pitch. Drill towards the hole. Hosmer in position. And he steps on first. That's the second out. A train at the plate now. Two for three thus far. Grounded out his last time through. Runners on first and second with one out. Here's the first pitch. This one swung on and driven hard. Two away. That keeps those runners at first and second. But keep the runners right where they are now. Two out. Not a lot of time left in this ballgame. You cannot give them more run. Colby Rasmus, your opportunity right now. 